Welcome once again to Doorway to the Paintings. And I really like this painting. I got a nice painting to show you. This is one of my trademark paintings. This style, uh, for anyone who has seen a number of my videos, you'll know that this is kind of a style that I keep going back to. I've painted this type of painting for many years because I love it. I, I developed this. Um, and there's a lot of inspirations behind it, but it's really one of my favorite types of paintings to do. I enjoy it. There's paintings that artists do that they like. There's paintings that artists do that uh, allow them to express themselves. Uh, and then there's other paintings that are very special where they really, really like the type of painting that they're doing not just to paint not just because they kind of like it but they love it and they are passionate about the the style that they are painting on a particular night or a particular day well this is one of those paintings that is really something that i like it's expressive it's impressionism mixed with some, uh, some reality but most of its impressionism uh, this painting gives me energy because it's my type of painting, so I really like it. It's really one of my very favorites. This type is a painting that I really like to do. There's a lot of inspirations behind this, and uh, I think that uh, it's a painting that I'll probably end up repeating or making other paintings very similar to it just as long as I'm a painter. You know, as long as I paint, I'll probably always go back to this style. I'll probably revisit it here and there uh, throughout my whole life as a painter, I'm guessing, because I really like it. So let's get into this one. I did quite a few paintings similar to this. In fact, I already did a video. I think it was episode seven, perhaps. It was one of my earlier videos where I showed this painting, but that video was primarily about another painting that looked very similar to this. But I showed both of them, but the point of that episode, uh, episode was to feature the other painting. Now it's time for this one to have its own episode. I really, really like this one a lot. I love how all the emotions are on the canvas. I don't want certain paintings to be very realistic at all. I mean, there is some realism. The way the lightning looks in the background, the way the pillars and the columns kind of get lost in the weather, the rain and the mist is real, but there's so much impressionism in here. It gives it a lot of style, a lot of character. I love the lightning. This here is a very odd, strange looking thing, but it was inspired by the New Line Cinema logo that uh, they had many years ago in the 80s, where it would flash red and black sequentially back and forth. That's where this comes from. It would start out as red lines and then New Line Cinema would flash back and forth sequentially between black and red on the screen. For some reason it left an impression on me. And uh, I know I told this story in the past, but I saw at night when I was seven a double feature. Um, my dad, my uncle, my cousin. We saw Nightmare on Elm Street 1 was the first movie. And then the second, which was the Late Late Show, was the Evil Dead, the original. And I believe both had that New Line Cinema logo flashing before each movie. Just a wonderful time, wonderful experience. I was seven. I know I, should, I shouldn't have been watching that at that age. But, um, I, you know, I really had a good time. And those ended up being two of my favorite movies ever. The original... Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street and then the original Evil Dead. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street being my favorite of the two, but both of them classics. I like both of them a lot. 
So if I never told anybody about that, they would probably never know where this came from because it's abstract. People wouldn't understand it until they hear the story, most likely. And then I love painting uh, Greek columns, like ancient Greek and Roman pillars columns. So that's why I put this in there. And all these characters with these white robes, kind of like ancient Greece or Rome. Or even like druids. It's a mixture of all of it, really. He's got some good muscle tone. <laughs> There's certain parts of this that are realistic and certain parts... Well, most of it is Impressionism. It has a lot of style, a lot of character. I'm really proud of this one. This is one of my trademark style paintings. Um, this is a definitely a Travis Olson painting. It's one of my trademarks. Um, even though I'm not not popular yet maybe never will be I don't know but I hope uh, people enjoy these videos I'm putting on YouTube and give them a chance to look at my art but I really like the colors the blue and then the white lightning and then I like the just everything about this I like the robes there's a mixture of uh, things going on here at once you got wild weather got these structures collapsing perhaps they were hit by lightning there might even be an earthquake or some kind of a monsoon here and it's all mixed together this is one of those paintings that is the emotion put straight on the canvas there's a lot of translation interpretation from the mind to the canvas some people transmit and translate reality onto the canvas and it's just straight reality just real life and it's they kind of copied real life but that's not what this is this is where the emotions are translated directly onto the canvas the thoughts the emotions the passions directly onto it and it gives it a lot of style and character i think just love the lightning in between the pillars. That's something that gives me energy. I'm going to zoom in on that. Got my bed here with other paintings. <laughs> Take it easy, pal. No, but you've seen that guy before. But and it's fitting too because it's geared as a nighttime program. So you got the bed here, dreams, nightmares. That's what we're all about here. <laughs> That's what it's all about. But anyway, I really need to look at these pillars a little closer. The rain, the lightning mixed in. And then what's behind it? They're walking up the steps, going into this solemn area. Just really like that concept. Yeah, from left to right, the steps are covered with these characters with the robes on. Then you go up here, you see the very tops of the columns. The rain, the lightning, just, I really, really, really got quiet, thought deep, meditated about what I wanted to paint before I painted this, as well as the other paintings, the many paintings that I have that are similar to this, but this is amongst the best. Got that dark mountain. The light is kind of making the mountain uh, lighter than I wanted it because of the reflection of the light. But if I tilt it like this, it gives you an idea of how dark I wanted the mountain to be. And that's how dark it actually is if there's no light shining on it. I got the light on for the video so you can see the painting, but it's actually supposed to be dark like this, and that's the way I love it. A dark mountain in the background, which is what I like. It's a little scary, but it gives it a lot of uh, excitement and style to the painting. I'll put it back down just so I can relax my hand, but 
then you got these bushes in the background so more inspirations behind this painting um, Halloween part one where the patients were broken out by uh, Michael Myers remember when Dr. Loomis and the nurse were gonna go pick up Michael Myers and they're out in the rain and it's dark and you see them standing with their hospital gowns in a way that's kind of where these characters come in they're dressed in white they're not hospital gowns they're like ancient robes but that's where that came from that was one of the inspirations behind it along with the lightning but in that movie it was a black sky it was a little dark late at night here i used blue but uh, that's the idea of having people with these um, robes on and then this character here similar to what i just said his face is supposed to be similar to the real michael myers not the mask even though it does kind of look like the mask but um when jamie lee curtis takes his mask off at the end reveals his real face that's what this is based on his real face and then of course halloween two and three also and three in particular in a way because of the the, the beginning of that movie there was a character with a mask and he was running from um, this car because there were people well there were characters i'll put it that way who wanted to to kill him and he was running and he ran through a freeway overpass or like an underpass something like that but there were pillars there were columns that were holding up the highway or freeway above and when he ran through those at the beginning with that music that really awesome music by john carpenter and alan howarth that's what kind of inspired these in a way these pillars but i was painting pillars and and uh columns uh, all the time but I mean it influenced me to paint more of it and uh, it got me thinking about those ancient Greek and Roman columns again and so I, Halloween 3 is always in my mind when I'm painting my Roman or Greek columns just because it reminds me of those pillars that were holding up that freeway overpass and then there's great music in all those movies great movies made by great directors and John Carpenter or Wes Craven and two of my favorite directors but uh, ancient Greece ancient Rome heavy influence obviously that's what these are when you look at them you know their columns you know their pillars so that's the biggest influence in terms of the actual structures and the columns and the pillars but I always think of Halloween 3 when I'm painting these pillars because of that scene. There's no street lights in this painting. Some of the street lights in, in the Halloween movies and then Escape from New York. Um, especially when they shine against a tree, like if there's a street light and then it illuminates the green leaves at night something about that plus I worked in a place for many years where I can look outside and there were trees next to street lights and I really like the way those look so that was another influence again here are a couple other paintings well I'll do videos perhaps about these paintings in the future too but there's a street light similar characters with the robes another one similar character with the red and black street light pillars the whole thing I might do videos about those paintings separately in the future but yeah it's one of my favorite styles to do I can almost feel the rain and uh, really liked it hope you enjoyed looking at this painting with me and if you liked it, 
consider subscribing and hitting that like button and uh, share it. Share the video with people you know and show them the artwork and they'll probably like it too. So thanks for watching this video and have a good night everybody. Sweet dreams.